Hello everyone, Aiden Starfang here. I figured I would do a, uh, well, uh, I, I was just going to like do some talking for like a channel update, and I decided I would do something a bit different this time. Um, so I haven't really posted anything. Let's see. Let me see my last. And I'm not talking about Starfang travels. I'm talking about Starfang plays. July fifteenth. So it's been a good wa a good minute. We did from from July. Not much. We did. Almost 15 minutes of rando time, WF No Mercy, for N64, and just a little over an hour of New Vegas, mostly vanilla graphics, did some quests there. In May, we uh, did a complete five-hour run of Inspector Waffles. And of course, my voice was shot, so there's minimal commentary in that one. Dang, I thought I did Dragon Origin or Dragon Age Origins sooner than that. That was also in May. June, the only thing I did in June was Dwemerologist Returns Part 16. Um Yeah, so lots of stuff has been going on in my private life. And I think I explained in one of the channel updates um, I was considering a move. The move has happened. I have moved. I am now set up in a new domicile. Um, it's going to take some getting used to. I want to get out here and get back to producing content But I need to I need to feel positive about it and wanting to do that instead of just like um you know, oh if I don't do that then I I'll lose subscribers, blah blah blah. Like who wants to sit here and watch a video with someone who's not having a good time? I mean, honestly, I see uh, there's some of these, like, people, like, for example, I'm playing The Sims 4 right now, and I'm trying to. <clears throat> I've seen so many people who make content for The Sims 4. I want to say Lil Simsy is one of them. Let me see if that's right. Yeah, Lil Simsy. And I'm not trying to be hateful or mean. But all of her YouTube icons are her making this disturbed, like this dis distraught, despaired face. This expression of, of pain. And that she's just not having a good time. And I think, why the fuck do I want to click on that? I'm not watching that shit. She looks like she's having a horrible time. And I can tell that's it's a, it's a shilling. It's a marketing gimmick because she's got thousands if not millions of followers and she's a paid can a paid channel which I am not so people who watch my content either genuinely like my content or you know whatever control F okay here we go I remember control F yay um again I'm not trying to be mean and and denigrate and knock her in any such way. I know it sounds like I am, but I'm not. Um, and that's just an example. And I see, and it could be anything. It could be a video about cooking. It could be a video about uh, backpacking. It could be a video literally about anything. And if your, your cover image, your little thumbnail, I don't know what they're using for wallpaper. 
Dang it. Go to my screenshots folder. What wallpaper were they using? Oh, I remember. Um, if I see people who look like they're just not having a good time, why would I be inspired or otherwise encouraged? Why would I feel inspired or otherwise encouraged to check out your content? And if it ain't real, if you're just doing that to like for the thumbnail video, but you look like your face looks like that every fucking video, then clearly it's a shill. It's a, it's, it's a sham to get, you know, to make it seem worse than it is. And I'm, I'm not into that. I'm sorry, I'm not. It's disingenuous. It's it's like either EA or Maxis or Bethesda or whoever you're playing for is paying you to do these reviews. So, but you're not telling people this. So you're trying to keep up the facade of oh, I I had a horrible time. Watch me play. I've seen someone they did like three plus hours of the new horse ranch pack that came out like when the hell did it come out a month ago last month and uh it was something like three three or three hours or four hours it was one of those popular youtubers and i'm thinking And the description of the video, if it was bait, clickbait, I don't know. Because people love to shit on The Sims 4. It ain't a perfect game. I'm not going to sit here and say, it. oh, it's a perfect game, it's flawless. No. It has lots of problems. Like, I can be honest about that and say, yeah, it's not a perfect game. But then you do these, these shitty clickbaity videos that are like I bought the Sims 4 horse ranch pack so you don't have to here's everything that's wrong with it it's something titled like that here's everything that's wrong with the Sims 4 horse ranch pack not um like, here's the Sims 4. Here's everything good about Sims 4. Hor That's what I would want to know. I imagine, like, every every EA Maxis pack is going to have stuff in it that people are going to either like or hate. I mean, that's just a foregone conclusion at this point. So, what I would rather you spend your time telling people, telling me anyways, is what's so good at, what's, what's, what's the good stuff about it? Instead of, oh, you know, in three hours of sitting there, <coughs> I don't got time for that. I don't have time for that. I mean, these, these past whole three months, since May, June, July now have been nothing but drama and uh, I feel like my sanity has been slipping away. Maybe it's lack of gaming because I do find uh, escapism to be a really invaluable tool. Nowadays, especially, because, like, everything is, like, how dare you not have an opinion on the current thing? How dare you? Blah, blah, blah. And I would prefer to do my own thing. Like, bullying people? If you're, if you're harass like, constantly harassing people to pick a side, to state their stance on something, um, that's bullying Especially if they've made it clear many times they don't want to talk about the subject. 
you can write them off as whatever. That's fine. But bullying someone to uh, make a decision isn't going to do you any favors. It isn't going to win anyone, especially that person, to your cause. Because A, most likely they're going to say what they're going to say out of duress to get you to shut up and leave them alone. So, that's how I feel about it. Um, I know it sounds like off topic, and it kind of is off topic, but I've seen a lot of people get bullied over this and that, and that's why I don't talk about, like, stuff like that. I don't get really political. I make jokes. Some fucking loser commented on my YouTuber... Wow, not a great way to open the video. Not all Republican. I'm like, dude, just fuck off. Just fuck off. Find another channel. You know, you sit here and you call um, liberals snowflakes, and you sit there and cry, and ooh, not all Republicans get fucked. I don't care. I don't care. You're like, 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 you want really want to get into it, hun? Your party is the one that's going out and creating more anti-gay, anti-trans uh, laws. So, there you go. And me being a member of the LGBT community, yeah, that fucking rubs me the wrong way. So, if I'm going to crack a little joke around here and say, um, hard, like, re being a Republican uh, is kind of like a hard-to-diagnose condition or that it's not or whatever fuck you that's nothing honey that is nothing okay I can get way nastier so if you're gonna get your little fifis hurt you know cause you're supposed to be a tough republican conservative and you're not like us weak liberal libertarian snowflakes over a little fucking side joke like that you don't want to get into it with me, hun. I am not the one. Okay? Because I get real ugly. I get real ugly. And I've had a really bad fucking week. Or weekend. Dealing with people. Dealing with stupid people. Um, I don't really want to get into that. Because I would rather forget about it and move on. Imagine that. A person trying to... Um, move on instead of corrals more drama. I want to forget about it and move on. I don't want to sit here and be reminded every day because I, I, I'm already like being reminded every day there's assholes unavoidable assholes everywhere. Um, I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, but I do try my best to be nice. Uh, I try to do my best to sit here, not really assume. I, I, I could care less if you're straight, if you're religious or not religious, if you're political or not political. I don't care. But when you bring it to me, you bring it to my page, and you get my face about it, then... Well, I have no choice but to have an opinion about it, right, hon? Because you have gone out of your way to to direct that information to me. So what other recourse do I have? And really, at this point, all I want to do is sit down and play video games. I got a ton of boxes to unpack still. And I don't feel like it. Because some of my furniture got destroyed in the move... And so, and one of them, actually, that's a lie. Um, one bookcase got destroyed in the move. It's nobody's fault. It was a shitty, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, I don't want to get sued here, but I'm just going to say it's a shitty, great value brand. Um, and one of the containers, it's like a, uh, entertainment center container it's like a giant cupboard or a giant cabinet 
and it's really heavy and you can put like a TV on top of it, VCR there, put movies oh god, of course it's not responding. Put movies inside of the uh, show all. Of course it needs to show all. Right, hun? Fuck. This is what pisses me off with this game. Is it has, it feels like it tries its hardest to make you not want to play it. They want your money still. EA, Maxis, they still want your money. But they don't want you to play their game. They ain't sunsetting it anytime soon. They ain't shutting it down. But they, they, they're going to make it as laggy and unplayable as possible. In the meantime, why when you come here to just look at the furniture options and uh, I think it was this one. Was it this one? And it tries loading everything at once. Like, like bitch, are you insane? Are are you legitimate, legitimately insane? Like, are you for real, legitimately insane? Trying to load all this shit at once. Like, see, I'm not like some big time game designer. Okay, I'm not. I think this is the one I was using. Let me see. I think this might have been the kind I was using. But I really like this kind. Now that I think about it. Um, so, anyway. I want to pick up where I left off with New Vegas... Dragon Age, the new games, I want to do some new stuff. And again, just to explain, because I'm sure people, there's people who follow my travel channel and follow this, and like, well, you have no problems filming in IRL. The difference is, which I've explained before, and I'll s explain it again, the difference is, it's very easy to go out and about, whip out your phone, your camera, just start filming and narrating. All you have to do, literally, is go home and edit it with music, and you're done. And you're done. Um, let me test this. Like, examine it. So, I'm pretty sure this is the countertop I was using. But I like... I like the... I like the country kitchen one better, anyway. Um, it's easier to do that... than get into a game... play it... which can take anywhere between a few minutes to a few hours... And there's people who prefer my gaming channel over the over the uh, travel channel. That's fine. I'm not offended. You like what you like. Oh, gosh. What kind of fridge did I use? Is it this one? I'm trying to make these objects as similar as possible in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I think it was that one. Anyway. Um...
Is that the same design? I think that's the same design. I guess I just really like that design better. Um, God, what the hell was I saying? That's why I never speak, because I just get sidetracked and nothing ever gets finished. Yeah, so it's been really, really stressful. And I've kind of like avoided um, really doing anything with like gaming and all that. Hang on, let me grab a drink real quick. Alright, okay. So, it's been super stressful. It's easier, much, much easier to take even an hour-long footage home from your camera, put it on the computer, and, you know, edit it. Super easy. Because you let the editor load it, <clears throat> and then you just, you know, you add music, and uh, transitions and all that, and then it does its thing. Sometimes, if you like what you filmed, you can just upload it then and there. You don't have to, you know. But I prefer to edit it with, like, suspenseful music or in captions and things like that to make it a bit more uh, engaging or appealing I guess. So that's why, like, if I've been uploading Oh, because Move Objects isn't on, of course. Of course. Why would it? Why would it? <laughs> yes, because it did crash. It did crash once. Red book, green book. Red book. Okay. Um... And it's easier to just upload that as is. And like I said, when I play a game, I want to get into it and enjoy it. And if I'm playing for an hour, two hours, five hours, so be it. And it's much easier to film on the fly and uh, upload that at some point. And uh, maybe, maybe not even needing any edits at all. <laughs> Versus. What kind of dining table do they have? With that round Christmas one. You know, versus sitting there and being like, oh, this needs all these changes, this needs blah, 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 blah. Where's that green table with the... Oh. Here we go. 
I don't think that'll block anybody from walking. I had to remove the cat from the household in this game, in this family I'm playing, this house that I'm designing. I, I swear pets in The Sims 4 are the worst. I've dealt with pets running away in The Sims 3. And just, you know, because whatever. But The Sims 4... They don't even act like pets. They don't even act like cats or dogs. It's not Sims 4 pets. It's Sims 4 cats and dogs. And they don't even act like cats and dogs. They act like weird... Like, I guess because the game is a game. It's AI. But they don't act like pets. Like, they're not programmed to be like pets. They act like weird... AI that's trying to... Uh, blend in by like mimicking earth animals or something. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And I don't think that blocks any of that, so they can still have that, actually. So, um, I had to move the cat out to a different, for now at least, to a different household until I, until I'm like less, like, um, agitated, irritable by it, I guess. See, in the current house, they don't have a dishwasher. And I don't know if I want to give them a dishwasher in this one. But they're definitely, obviously, going to have a sink. Because... Why not? I've just come to the realization, I, I mean, not, like, just now, but, like, over the past few weeks, I've really come to the, to the realization that people are nuts. People are crazy. They have ridiculous expectations of others while themselves failing to live up to their own projected higher standards. And I don't know, I don't quite know what the fitting word or term for that is. I want to say it's like entitlement syndrome or, or entitlement complex or something. And of course the paint here is fucking chipping, which is great. Um, but I don't know if that's quite right. But if you, if you, if you all know what I'm talking about, it's like people who have uh, expectations through the roof but they themselves don't meet those expectations. I guess maybe hypocrite? Oh, there's like some blank flooring there. I gotta cover that up. And move the <laughs> Like, why is that even there? Like, look. You can't access that <laughs> to see it. Some decor item, and I just know some sim... When I tell him, please, you know, I give him a command to, like, take out the garbage. He's going he's gonna to take that... St it's like they get mind broken when there's too many garbage cans. So he's going to stand there holding this, this stack of dirty plates, right? And because there's a surface, if because I don't know if that thing I just deleted counts as a surface because I know they updated the game many times and now you can put like soaps and different little like decor items and, like the, the edges of the bathroom sink and the tub which I think is really cool because it makes it feel like it's lived in and you know I'm sure people were happy to 
You know, because, I mean, it does. It looks more lived in. It's clutter. That's that's the whole point. There's literally, not even just The Sims. There are people in Skyrim. You download just, I just want a basic player home. Clutter everywhere. Clutter everywhere. And I'm fine with clutter if it's my clutter. Because my design choices and styles aren't necessarily going to be for everyone. And vice versa. So I'm quite fine just downloading and using a simple hunter cabin for Skyrim. Or a blank house. Well, I make all my houses in The Sims 4. I used to download them and then, like, redecorate them. But then I found I get a greater sense of uh, accomplishment if I just make my own. And by my own, I just mean I... I created these in the sims 4 these were actually taken from most of them were taken from sims 2 and sims 3 games that i own i actually own sims 1 but i haven't played it yet and i remade them in the sims 4 so i don't hold the ip on those but i do hold the creation credit or acknowledgement for this game and I usually put them all on the gallery. I just ignore the gallery because people will steal your shit all the time. And they tag you. They'll tag you in it and go, oh, look what I did, Starfang. And I'm like, oh, cool. Uh, you took something that I did and changed the wallpaper to yellow. It took me to realize, it took me a while to realize that they might be kids doing that. I don't think all of them are kids because people write off like like on RuPaul's Drag Race, the fan base is very toxic. And they go after these drag queens and, and just say horrible things. You know, they say racist things to black queens. They tell queens they don't like to, um, you know, end themselves. It's just horrible, awful shit, you know, and this is all Twitter and and it's on Facebook too, but Twitter is just like there. Anything goes, or is it X now? Am I? Are we still calling it Twitter? Or is it X? Yeah. Um. So and people write them off as oh angry teenagers, and I'm like nah, nah. To write them off and to, that sounds very dismissive and disingenuous because I don't I I know for fact. A lot of these posters are grown-ass men and women getting angry because their fave went home first or because whatever. Or because a black queen had the nerve to express any amount of confidence in their look that week and won the challenge. Like, <laughs> um, It's just like when people write things it's like so yeah like on the gallery i'm sure a lot of them are kids i'm sure the ones who are really technical and stealing your shit and re-uploading it those are adults they're at least old enough you know the ones that look really insane i think are probably kids i just figured for some reason i figured they wouldn't know how to use the gallery that well i don't know i guess i'm still naive i just figured they wouldn't really be making use of it. But then it makes sense because you see like a normal sim and you see that same sim re-uploaded like a dozen or so times. Um, so if they're a skinny sim, they'll be really fat. If they're a fat sim, they'll be really, really fat and they'll have like really bad hair and makeup and uh, given a name like uh, Gorgeous Cupcakes or something. And I'm thinking that's probably a kid or a teenager doing that I would think a little kid like 10 like 9 or 10 but um yeah I I don't fuck with the gallery um I will upload a, a home for people to use because it will show who the original creator is every time so there's no way you can take this house that I designed. Let me see. Right here. Comfy Cubby. 
Aiden Starfang. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't you ain't you ain't plagiarizing my shit, bitches. Not today. Not today. Not today. I have zero problems sharing the houses I remade. My uh Sims two and three remake counties. I have more problem because I see people you know, and I spend hours and this might sound obsessive, it might sound critically online, it might sound whatever. The fact remains I spent a great deal of time making these sims to how they looked in the previous games, and then I see them re uploaded and reshared looking hideous. Like given really horrible hair, terrible fucking outfits, uh, being the wrong size that they weren't when I created them. And I understand. Like, well, when you hit that submit button or upload to the gallery, yeah, I get it. Uh, it doesn't invalidate how I feel. So that's why I just, I don't share. I will share my homes. That's fine. But when people will take my stuff, they won't even leave my... Ta well, they leave the tags, but they remove my name. So that tells me they know they're trying to take credit for stuff that I've done. And I don't think little kids are that smart or that sneaky or clever or vindictive enough to know to do that. Uh, I think they would see something that looks funny or alter it and re-upload it to show everybody to be like, oh, look, I made, you know, because I just don't, th they think in the moment, like, oh, I'm going to give her big boobs and make her bald and whatever, you know, because, oh, that's so funny. Um, I just don't think that little kids have that um, rat race mentality to sit here and, um, well, I don't want anybody follow finding the original creator. I want them to think that I did this and delete all that information so that's why I don't upload townies anymore I did make an exception I updated the Martindale family with the uh, horse ranch pack I was able to give them their horse finally and because uh, for the time they had a dog and a cat the cat had the horse's name, which I think is a Marnie. And then the dog was called Horse. So I just figured, you know. It w which, by the way, I have to sing Maxis's praises for the Horse Ranch Pack. I love it. I love it. I know I'm not using a whole lot here. But that, uh, just the way... Let's see, are those the same same banisters just the way how lively the horses act right out of the box I love it they act like alive living animals they don't sit there and crap on the clock on command every like 30 sim minutes. They don't sit there and whine and cry. They're playing with the ball that you gave them. They're practicing jumping on their own. It's great. Even in, I, and I'm the first person to admit Maxis has not been perfect. The Sims haven't been perfect. But the Horse Ranch, I love I, this is probably my new favorite pack from the Sims. Now if I could find what banister I was using. Because that's not like the right shade of green. Um, yeah, I mean, I... I love it. I think... Oh, was it that one? Oh, I think it was the... Um, it was this one. It was that one. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, I love how the horses will autonomously <gasps> act like horses. They don't just sit there and cry. Or, or I need attention. You put stuff out there for them to do, they do it. And a horse, I would assume, would have just as many advantages or struggles as a uh, freaking, whatchamacallit, cat or dogs, not Sims 4 pets. It's Sims 4 cats and dogs. When they patch in lizards, uh, actual bugs as pets, I've, I've seen people trying to justify the lack of content and saying, Sims 4 already has little pets. You can't do anything with them. If you find frogs and bugs and whatever, the only option is to walk up and, and um, the only interaction is like observe frog and box or whatever. You can't pet it. You can't feed it. You can't play with it. It'll never happen because at this point in the game, they're already working on Project Rene, Sims 5, and they're putting out stuff that will be easy, easy money. And I guarantee if you think, well, they put out the, the horses, horses were always coming. They've probably, the only reason why horses didn't come with Sims 3, with Sims 4, pet, cats and dogs to be pets, the coding wasn't perfected yet. That's another thing. I give Maxis and EA a lot of shit. But I don't expect them to have code mastered overnight. Some people just don't. If you even work on a, a make-your-own game like RPG Maker, then you know some of the bare-bones basics of game development. And it ain't easy. And a lot of times it ain't fun. Especially when you're on a one-man crew. Doing all of it by yourself. So, to have people be in there and be like, well, I don't understand why this wasn't out ages ago. So, you have a game that's already riddled with spaghetti code, as the. I don't think the fandom even freaking knows what that term means. It's riddled with lots of incom incompatibility errors, I will say. And they expect the. Uh, them to be able, them, Maxis, to be able to rush out a new feature and have it be, like, perfectly compatible. And that makes me ask the question, are you fucking stupid? As opposed to, there's another more offensive question I could ask. I won't. And I'll just say, are you fucking stupid? Like, for real. Clearly, you don't know anything about coding. Clearly, you don't know how this shit works. Now, I ain't defending Maxis's Max's stupid decisions. But I am saying, like, as from a history and experience with coding, it ain't that easy to just, like, wiggle your nose like Samantha and Bewitched. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's that. Um, yeah, it, it, it takes a time. It takes time to perfect it. And especially now, because of the fandom's rampant bitching, which a lot of it's justified, and the other half is, if you don't, if you are unsatisfied, say something, vote with your wallet, they keep buying the shit. So it's like, you know, standing in the kitchen... Uh, you know, standing in the fire and complaining that it's hot. Yeah. Um. It's just, I mean, it, it's just rampant craziness from people. Not even, not even in person craziness. I mean, people online, which people will say terminally online. Well, maybe that is a thing. Maybe that is a thing, and that's, you know, the thing that they're suffering from. A case of being terminally online. And come, and the first thing they do is go to Sims forums 
which is I can pretty much guarantee that the official Sims 4 forums is an echo chamber. Um, I guarantee they got paid shills and plants there because those people can go and leave uh, derisive and cast aspersions and shitty comments and they're fine. I see them posting all the time. But I like stepping like, hey, like, that's uncalled for and appreciative. I get threatening. I get I get PMs or DMs leveling on threatening from EA community managers saying, don't you dare, blah, 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 blah. And they sure react quickly when I say, I kind of feel that you're taking a threatening or intimidating tone with me. And they went out of their way many times to explain how, oh, that wasn't our intention, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because you don't want me to report your fucking ass. Because you're already not getting paid. And going and uh, k kicking and banning people off of a forum is your only... Um, is the, the only ounce of, of satisfaction that you're getting in life. I get it. I get it. I do. I really do. But uh, there's a time and a place for the attitude. And, uh... Yeah. Let's see. But yeah, so to explain my absence, feels like whenever I get online, I'm always having to uh, make an explanation, make an apology. Even if my channel's not big, I mean, I'm not arrogant enough to think there aren't people that enjoy it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any subscribers at all. But uh, there is more content coming. The move is over. Uh, I'm going to take my time going through these boxes and getting stuff sorted. I'm going to get my head sorted because I have been on the verge of, of just losing it in the past few weeks. And this weekend of the big move did not help. So, um, I'll keep you guys posted. There's going to be more Dragon Age, of course. There's going to be more rando time. And I'm getting back into New Vegas. I want to play Fallout 3, but... I've been having a hankering to play that. But I think it's kind of, like, unplayable. On the PC. I have some other surprises that I want to... Show you all. And, uh... You know, hopefully... We'll turn it out. So thanks for stopping by, watching my video, and listening, and I will see you all in the next one.